Okay, let's now work on uh, the second method of uh, circuit analysis. Uh, this is actually a, a very simple method, and uh, oftentimes when you're applying some of the more sophisticated methods, it is helpful to apply these methods as some of the uh, partial steps. You can find more about this method and the KVL-KCL method in uh, Chapter 2 of the textbook. So uh, this method is very simple. If you have a uh, set of resistors in series, R1 through Rn, then you can write up a uh, equivalent resistor whose resistance is equal to the sum of the individual resistances. Now, you can also do a complementary circuit. Uh, you can take a set of conductances. Uh, notice that G is our nomenclature for conductance. So G1, for example, is uh, 1 divided by R1 and so on. So G is a conductance. So when I have a set of conductances in parallel, then I can add them all up and replace them with a resulting conductance given by G1 plus G2 plus G3 da, 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 GM, where G1 equals 1 by Ri is a conductance. Another simple thing to uh, remember is when you have two resistances in parallel, let's say R1 and R2, the uh, equivalent resistance is given by R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay, this is just a special case for two resistors. Uh, let's continue on um, with element combination rules. Case C is when I have uh, two voltage sources in parallel, let's call them V1 and V2, then I can replace them with a single voltage source whose uh, voltage is given by V1 plus V2. I can get the uh, current base circuit in a similar manner. So let's say I have uh, two current sources in parallel, I1 in parallel with I2, then I can replace them with a single current source whose current is I1 plus I2. In this example, I would like to use element combination rules to solve for the following situation. So I have a little circuit here uh, with a voltage source and three resistors. And let's say um, I care about finding the current I through uh, that branch. So how do I go about doing it? So let's start applying element combination rules. Uh, as a first step, uh, let me combine these two resistances. And so I get uh, the same voltage source here, my resistance R1 here. Uh, but uh, in place of uh, R2 and R3, I get uh, the combination of resistors given by R2, R3, divided by R2 plus R3. Now, as soon as I get that, I now have two resistances in series, so I can sum them up uh, very quickly, uh, like so, and I can get a single resistance here, R, which is the sum of R1 plus R2, R3, divided by R2 plus R3. So now, uh, notice that uh, this was my current that I needed to find, and I was the current I needed to find. So uh, I've, I've brought this down to a very simple pattern, and so I can very quickly write I is simply given by V divided by R. Now, uh, the textbook in this particular section uh, gives you a lot more interesting examples of uh, how you can use intuitive analysis to uh, analyze many, many circuits like this. And I would encourage you to go and read that section as part of section two.